Federal health officials say neither ivermectin nor hydroxychloroquine are effective treatments for COVID, but at least two Polk County commissioners want Governor DeSantis to expand access to those two drugs. Justin Shecker is in Lakeland with that story. The draft letter Polk County commissioners are considering sending Governor DeSantis says this is about the right to try potentially life-saving therapeutics. The FDA warns the drug ivermectin should not be used to treat COVID-19. We need to get the word out about these alternative drugs. Polk County Commissioner Bill Braswell told Eight on Your Side he took the dose of ivermectin for humans for nine months before getting the COVID-19 vaccine. You've got doctors that are prescribing it and other doctors that are calling it, uh, you know, bad medicine. And quite frankly, I've never heard of anybody dying who took it. While he plans to vote yes to setting the letter written by Commissioner Neil Comby, it's a no for Commissioner George Lindsay. If they want to do that individually to the governor, that's fine. But I didn't think it was appropriate to use the county commission uh, platform for that, for that message. Despite health officials saying it's an unproven COVID treatment and dangerous for humans in high doses, ivermectin is gaining attention from online misinformation. Popular podcast host Joe Rogan says he took it this week after testing positive following comedy shows in Florida. There's already enough confusion on this whole issue, and I think this uh, doesn't shed light on the subject. It clouds the subject. In a county hit hard by the Delta variant surge, Commissioner Lindsay says he's encouraged health department data shows in improving vaccination rate. My message is uh, consult with your physician and get the vaccine. I still think the vaccine is the way to go, but, um, you know, if, if somebody refuses to take the vaccine, I don't think that's a uh, reason to, to let him die either. And the director of infectious diseases at USF Health tells Aid on Your Side the Regeneron monoclonal antibody treatment being promoted by Governor DeSantis is effective for the unvaccinated. The five commissioners will vote on Tuesday whether to send that letter to the governor. Reporting in Polk County, I'm Justin Shecker, 8 on Your Side.